this is Seattle. Stop shaking this damn camera. Seattle round five, six. Man, we're getting through these. All right, so out here, Evergreen Speedway. It's Thursday, but there's actually no practice today because it's uh, only pro, no prospect as well. Uh, car is all dialed. We went through it, got ourselves ready for the bank because, um, you know, way different from the St. Louis track. So rear camera setup, rear gear setup, oil changes, all the fluids. Good and ready to go. So me and the boys are going to go get some rest, get some food, and get ready to party because tomorrow's going to have fast with practice, straight into qualifying, and getting dialed. <laughs> what you doing, bro? It's well watching, you know? Well watching. My favorite thing in the world. <laughs> so Jackson's been here for a week. Yeah. What'd you do today, bro? Well, I watched did nothing. Yeah. Did absolutely nothing. Uh, Vote for Chris, crew chief of the year. Crew chief of the year, right there. <laughs> Bam! Year. <laughs> crew member of the year, Jeff Ring. There we Don't go. Don't forget that. Don't forget it. <laughs> Write it in. Write it in. <laughs> Christina wants team manager of the year. She's looking at just throwing our shit out. That's how team managers do. <laughs> Get rid of this job. I don't know what this is. It's got to go. Get the hell out of here. Are we eating? It's daylight, but it's probably like... 11 or midnight. Eater, yeah. The hell out of here. Oh, shit, it's late where I live. Man, we got merch. What do we got? Doc koozies. There you go. Doc koozies. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. We're going to start a, uh, what we actually do with Doc. <laughs> doc bombs and Doc, uh, all How that we, stuff. Yep. How we make our Doc drinks. Okay, yeah. And that's also our raffle giveaway for the weekend. And this bad boy. Check that thing out. I, that thing's freaking gnarly. <laughs> soup, soup. Oh, there's two of these. I have a five minute long video. And all the merch. Of him recording again. Yeah. And it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, set, set up. When he talks all shit about whale watching, this is me. Five minutes long of Jeff walking a spider. I was going to put it in the last video besides <laughs> yeah. not to. I was filming. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Nope. Good. Awesome. All right, I fully lied. We're going to do a track walk real quick. So let's jam through that. And it's Jeff's first oh, time being in Seattle? Yep. Really? First time in Seattle. Yeah. I guess so. I've been here way too much. I was doing, you know, hot boy stuff. Hot boy yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right. Back one. All right. Here's a quick view of the run up. We start there and we go that way. Good little run up. One of our fastest tracks. And it's repaved this year. So that'll be nice. Okay. So we just walked all of that and I didn't show you any of it. But that's the end of the zone right there come flying off that thing into this outer zone too. And this is new. They got these things hanging right here. Maybe it'll help with drones. Probably won't help me any, but that looks cool. Hanging markers. And then shooting into through the power alley. That guy, uh, outer zone three. And then finishing up through the little S's at the end. Fun times. Quick shot of the grandstands. Things are pretty goddamn big. Let's see your narrow zone, bro. Narrow. Good morning, dudes. It's Friday, and it's time to rock and roll, get some practice on. The boys are working on getting the arms uh, ready to go in case I do some stupid stuff. Let's not do some stupid stuff. But uh, driver's mean for me. These guys are going to work, kick some butt, Both do their thing. <laughs> there you go, vote for Chris. <laughs> All right, Matt, let's roll. Vote for Chris, 2022 Chris of the Year. Woo! About to go practice. It's our first practice, first laps out on Evergreen Speedway. We're all lined up, ready to go have some fun. Um, the track looks like the bank has not been drifted or maybe even raced on in a while. Definitely looked really loose uh, yesterday. So yeah, we'll give it a good full run. Uh, my first couple runs, I intend on really using up the whole bank and, and kind of going a little bit extra just to find my limits. Going into outer zone two. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Want to find that and uh, just have some fun, man. This is one of those tracks where it's just a big badass track. Have some fun. Yeah, film track. Let's go. Let's see some laps.
steps in. Well, it should have been two, but Forsberg shut down in front of me. Jackson's working on camber. Good. We're good? Good to go. So that's what the tires came off like. That was our first initial setup. Added some more negative camber. Check the toe. Ready to go. All right. This is that autograph session part. Yes, Got the is. boys right here. Oh, yes, I lose my music when I record though. That sucks. So these guys are cool. This one's okay. That one's cool. It's kind of weird down there. Okay. But uh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this stuff and then get back to driving. <laughs> He's doing good. Everything we did worked out really well. Some of my chases I weren't, I, I wasn't as happy with. Wasn't like in people's business the way I wanted it to be. Um, for the most part, 90% of the runs are pretty good. Uh, tire consumption's kind of tough with this big ass track and uh, my heavy foot and too much wheel speed. I really should take some wheel speed out, but I don't want to be on the rev limiter. But yeah, let's go qualify. It's that time. Let's go send it. But uh, all those 90 drivers, they're in it to win it. In it to win it? Are you in it to win it? I'm in it Allegedly. to judge the winner. Allegedly. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff Jones. Here we go, Jeff Jones. Evil Autoworks Prisma Labs Nissan 370Z from Sun Valley, California. Got the Ninja Turtle riding shotgun. Hero in a half shell. Jeff Jones power. Through that big bank. Party Duke coming now into the second outside zone. Big angle from Jones into the third. Can tighten it up, put a bow on it, baby. Nice job by Jones, snappy into that last outside zone. Flirt with that wall. Always watching you, bro. 86 and 86 for Jeff Jones puts him into a lucky number 13. So, like I said, the high 80s, you're, you're going to be more confident because, uh, like I said, we have one, two, three, four, five incomplete. So, those low 80s, you're flirting with it. Morning, dudes. So, it's Saturday. Uh, forgot to film last night after qualifying. Went out there, did my run. Felt oh, really confident in my run. This guy's really trying to do something here. Uh, felt really confident in my run, but was on the rev limiter more than I expected. So the track got a little bit slick. Uh, wheel speed jammed up. So that kind of made me bobble with the rev limiter hitting like bram, bram. Um, that and then just couldn't put the car where I wanted to on the wall. And then from there, lost a few points coming out of outer zone uh, one. Um, but the rest of it felt pretty good and I felt confident driving the car, so that's what's really important. Things feeling really rad, feeling really good. So boys are going to change out the gear, uh, a few other things that we wanted to do for practice um, that we're going to have time for now. Rear sway bar, I think we're going to make it a little bit softer, um, maybe a little more toe in, go in for that competition battle stuff. But yeah, let's go do a couple practice laps and then uh, send it.
where are my manners? Last thing I filmed was, hey guys, I woke up. Uh, all right, so we showed up to the track, did some practice laps. Those were really good. Um, spun out a couple times. Don't know what's up with that. Uh, following uh, Dean Kearney. That boy was not too quick here at this track. So I don't know why. Um, he was like really slow on run up and then through his run was okay on speed, but then getting towards the end of the run, extremely slow and that messed me up, um, which sucks because like I would have lost that battle if that was a battle. It was all practice, all good. Um, learned from some mistakes. Uh, and then went out there against uh, Sorensen, Brandon Sorensen. Jeff Jones and Brandon Sorensen. Jeff Jones, Brandon 18 years old from Las Vegas, Nevada. Jeff Jones from Sun Valley, California, Southern California to be exact. Jones, Evo Auto Works, Nissan 370Z. And Jeff Jones will lead Sorensen giving chase. Let's see how Jones does. Jones qualified 14th, Sorensen qualified 19th, so fairly equally matched. Jones out of the gate, big swing and smoke machine turns on. Jones, big angle, Brand Sorensen. He needs to get involved. He is low and lacking angle as Jones now comes to that second outside zone. Jeff Jones, that Edelbrock Rock supercharger, takes a wide line but tightens it back up. That was a crazy good line there from Jones. That was interesting. Just It had that wide swing, and I, I thought he was going to miss that inside clip. was wider, and, you know, it just it looked dramatic, but at the end of the day, Brandon just was not part of the equation. No, you can see right from the get-go here, outside zone one, Brandon falls back and down as well. So look at initiation. You can see low angle from Brandon early on. He's down in the second lane, basically, way off of outside zone one, not matching the line, the angle. Um, his proximity isn't great either through that area. So definitely a big miss from Sorensen there. And the lead position, like you were saying, uh, Jeff Jones doing a great job in the lead. At an angle, going inside clip one to get that line kind of tightened in there and made it work. Looked like a great, uh, great lead run from Jeff Jones. So, as we switch positions for them now, Jeff in the chase, match line, match angle. Yep. That's going to be a big one. Have more proximity. That's going to give him that advantage that he needs. Chase to chase comparison in the lead position. Sorensen has his work cut out for him right now. Jones did a pretty great job up in the lead position. And just the momentum that Jeff Jones is riding, just even from last year, just he, he's gained a, he's gained a lot of interest. He's having fun, but he wants to win. He wants to get on the box. Brandon's going to try to get in his way, but he really, as you say, needs to step up here and put down a solid lead run, especially on this big bank. He's got the clean air, that United States Air Force, BMW, and he's doing exactly what we had hoped. Ooh, some wavering there. Man, he was, he was flirting with that wall, saying, hey, how you doing? And then, oh, swings wide outside zone two. And that's where that gets precarious, is that's hard to follow for Jones, with him going two wheels off. Imagine if this is Atlanta, you go into the dirt or you go off course. Yep. You got dirt, you got grass, you got all these elements, but obviously more forgiving going just beyond and getting to the asphalt. But you saw him explode those candlestick cones, and that just says, hey, I'm... I'm way off. Yeah, those cones are placed four feet off the edge of the track. So to hit those, that's a, at least one, probably two tires off course there for Brandon in that area. And um, unfortunately for Brandon, um, Jeff Jones here will get the win. And, uh, you know, I don't know how he's feeling, but I was feeling great. So I did my lead run. My lead run went really well. Uh, put it in all the spots that I wanted to. Fight in the rear of the car because the car's got a lot of rear grip and um, maybe it's overwhelming the front just a little bit. So I got to be mindful of that coming out of outer one into outer two. Uh, but feeling good. And then so my spotter, Matt Bergens, told me, you know, give it like, you know, probably like 80, 90% run and uh, sent it with him, stayed with him, and he was bobbling all over the place. Uh, so kind of just like an easy move on. Um, maybe wasn't feeling it on this one. And, uh, so now we got the Forsberg, the Force. So let's go send it, boys. Uh, but we got halftime stuff. We're going to do some, um, you know, the wheel giveaway. We got a lot of things this time. So let's go check those out. All right, so here's some of the giveaways we got today. This badass wheel. Who's going to win the wheel? I'm thinking. Yeah? Think yeah? Yeah. How many tickets did you buy? One. Just one? Lucky one. One and done. So NRG Prisma Labs put together this badass one-off Jeff Jones racing wheel. That's the same as in the car. Oh, well, it's in the car. But this one says FD Seattle. Um, we also got the Voodoo Buckets. 
And then we got this bent wheel over here. I don't know who bent it. Definitely wasn't me. That's been raffled off also. So yeah, we got some cool things this time. But the car's working great. So yeah, we're gonna chill out for an hour, hang out with some fans, and then get ready for top 16 ceremony. And give it a full send. So many phones, bro. We gotta do our YouTubes and our vlogs and our whatever things. So, all right, this is the top 16 um, ceremonies where they say names and I do stupid things. So, dude's filming us. Linky, see you people filming us. Lucas, Prisma Labs, filming us. All the people filming us. So yeah, you know, I mean, would you get up and dance for as many people? I don't know why we do it. I think we do it just because that's what happens when you put a camera on some people. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna have some fun with it, why not? Drink doc. Have fun. And he here we go to Nissan Z is the all new Nissan Z of Chris Forsberg going against the Nissan 370Z of Jeff Jones. Both these guys now in Southern California or Jeff Jones been there his whole life in the Royal Purple Top 16. Here's the NOS energy drink, all new Nissan Z of Chris the Force Forsberg going against Jeff Jones. Jeff Jones at Evil Auto Works Prisma Labs Nissan 370Z. Here we go, this should be a fun one. And like, uh, like Chris said, he says, uh, Jeff Jones has been absolutely ripping. He knows he's a contender. Here we go. Chris Forsberg initiates into the bank almost simultaneous there from Forsberg and Jones. Big angle there. Look at the attitude of Forsberg's car. You see it wobble. Ooh, Jeff Jones going for it. Into that second outside zone, into the power rally, into that third outside zone. Here comes Jeff Jones on the inside. Taking a tight line because Forsberg nudging over that inside clip and then into that outside final zone. Here we go. Jeff Jones out front. That Evo Auto Works Nissan 370Z initiates big angle from him. You can see how much power he's got. Big angle there from Jones. Now Jones, let's see how he handles the power rally into that second outside zone. Big angle from Jones. Forsberg attacks on that third outside zone. Forsberg now drops to the door of Jones into that final outside and fourth zone. Would love to see the overhead and talk, you know, talking about filling those zones. Here we go, slide him left for Forsberg, right for Jones. One more time, one more time, and Jeff Jones. All right, so again, split decision. It's another one more time. Forsberg and Jones. So going back to the Royal Purple Top 16, this is that one more time battle between them. And again, the winner of this going against Taylor Hull in the great eight. So re-rack him for this one more time. The all new Z of Chris Forsberg, Jeff Jones. And his Nissan 370Z, again, two to one. One more time battle. All right, and we are clear to send. Let's see what we got. Tried to kick off that, that great eight, but uh, only finished half of it with Osbo. Here we go. Chris Forsberg leads, Jeff Jones giving chase, initiating that all new Z. Goes Chris Forsberg, the three time champ. Good angle from him, Jeff Jones. Good proximity, look at that diving in. Man, Jeff Jones out for blood. Jeff Jones dives in once again. Both of them wrapping around that inside clip and bringing it on home as Jeff Jones looks like he quickly tapped the wall but didn't, didn't cause too much damage there, I hope not. All right, initiation, good job from both drivers. Uh, you can see Forsberg up high there. And in the chase, Jones doing a really great job of mimicking the line that Forsberg's putting down in the lead position right there. It looked like Jones got a little bit close to Forsberg and had to kind of back off a little bit at the end of outside zone one. And that kind of threw him off a little bit through the rest of the course. And right there, he's got a little tap that lowers his angle as he goes over the finish line. Comes out on top after this one more time battle. Remember the winner advancing on to the Link Engine Management Great 8. Jeff Jones, Evil Auto Works, Nissan 370Z shreds that back bumper. The hatch opens 
and that very well could potentially be a problem. And now coming through into that second outside zone, Chris Forsberg swings wide, takes out that outside clip. And Ryan, I mean, it might, he lost the bumper, we've seen that before, but We've had a we've had a, a rule. Go ahead. I don't know. Go ahead. Well, if you make contact with the wall, then the hatch opening wouldn't be an issue, and it okay. seems like that's Perfect. what happened here, um, as he got the car to angle. Oh no! It just opened on its own. Oh no! It didn't hit anything. The bumper flew off, and the hatch opened, and that is essentially the basis for an incomplete. Forsberg goes way off. It looks like he had two off. Yeah, so but that, that's 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 why I was like, yeah, yeah, let's look at it again. I before. assumed there was a wall wall contact there. Uh, which caused the bumper and the hatch um, issue. But it looks like there was no contact with the wall whatsoever. The bumper came off, the hatch opened all by themselves. So here we go, Chris Forsberg, Jeff Jones, and Chris Forsberg gets the win. And some great driving by Jeff Jones. Some really good driving by Jeff. Hi, dudes. All right, so, didn't go well. Doc bumps. I'll tell you what happened. We're doing doc bombs early, so this ain't good. All right, dudes. All right, back to uh, what I was supposed to do, film the rest of this video. So, went up against Forsberg, and first run, he was actually much slower than I anticipated. Our car is just a freaking rocket ship, and uh, so run up was weird. I uh, wasn't able to get on the door the way I wanted to, but got through the run, things were feeling good. Did my lead run, that run was pretty good. Uh, both had some mistakes in uh, outer zone three, I think it was. So it went one more time. So. Uh, we dialed in a tiny bit more grip and had a plan to just go out and freaking send it and then I was prepared for him to have a slow run up and uh, go into the battle knowing what's up and uh, anticipated his slow run up, tossed it right into his door, send it into his door and uh, flying through the track, feeling really good. Got all the way through there and uh, at outer zone four, I tapped the wall just slightly, but enough to do a slight bit of damage to the rear of the car. No biggie. The, car is tracking straight so fast forward to my lead run i freaking throw down a baller lead run i'm feeling good about it i get to the end of the track and i'm like yeah that was good smell popcorn and everything that's an inside joke you'll know it later um but yeah what i didn't know was my hatch had opened up and why because outer zone four from the first run so it's a terrible terrible thing uh judges gave it to forsberg basically deemed my lead run incomplete which I think is terrible. It's freaking just, uh, I hate it, but that's what the rules. Little nerds running around. We got kids here today. Uh, not mine, uh, I got dogs. So yeah, that's uh, that's this round. That's the way this ended. It sucks, uh, rules are rules. So we're gonna move on, feeling good. Car is freaking awesome. It's in one piece. And uh, we're gonna move to Utah and go have some fun. So, all right nerds, we're out of here.